you want the good news or do you want the bad news, huh? Huh? Well, uh, guys, welcome back to episode number 70 of my Minecraft Let's Play. I am Eskimo, and the good news is that we found something awesome. The bad news, though, is whenever we were in here, it turned out to be a dud. So, I was like, huh, the location is actually kind of cool. So, what we're going to do right here is we're going to make it our home. So, I was like, hmm, I kind of want to make it not just my home so we're, we're gonna make it the home of the Escobro. so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make this our home so when are you guys come in here oh crap that door is gonna get really annoying oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no but yeah we're gonna make this the home of the Escobros. And whoever that is is annoying. <laughs> Home of the so, hey hey I know you I know you, hey no no I know I know you I know you I know you made this nice little entrance way but uh 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 that door sound really annoying ah what the heck I got glitched into the wall but yeah guys. We, we have a home finally. The home of the Escobros. I'm going to leave him to opening and closing the door. I guess he's having the time of his life or something like that doing that. So I'm going to let him do that while I go and search inside this cave. So why I, why I decided to make that my home is because one, it's right next to this awesome cave system. And two, it's also right next to the NPC village. So... You know, it's kind of an ideal location for a home for right now. So, you know, it's not a dud. And hopefully this cave actually turns out to be really long. I haven't really found a long cave system in this just yet. We've just found some awesome islands. And, you know, th that is pretty good, I suppose you could say. And, you know, islands are sort of awesome. But caves, caves are really what make this game awesome. And that's what you really want. So that's what we're going to do right now, guys. We're taking some of the coal. We're going to explore this cave. I'm going to take some more of this iron. <laughs> and uh, I suppose we'll just YOLO it up. But the only bad thing about this island is the fact that there's not really any mobs that I've seen so far. I know it's the largest island I've explored, but, you know, it's not the one with a whole lot of mobs. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but, you know, I guess you got to deal with it. But here we are going into this cave. And hopefully it is a awesome cave. So I'm going to open up a new bottle of water right now. And we'll check out what is inside of this cave, guys. So here we go. And yeah, it uh, looks like it could be an awesome cave. It looks like it's shaping up to be pretty awesome. And I need to start placing torches on the left side. So whenever I go out, the torches on the right hand side. Because you guys are like, Eskimo, a good tip is to... Place your torches on the left hand side because whenever you go back and you want to find your way out You'll see that your torches are on the right hand side. So you'll see right hand So then that's not really the case over here. Actually. Yeah, it is because they're on the left hand side still Except for that one bad torch and that one bad torch. <laughs> oh Crap it really was a dead end wasn't it? It, it just had to be a dead end Oh man <laughs> <laughs> just my luck well I guess I knew it was eventually coming and might as well make it this episode so what we're gonna be doing guys what we are going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing some more resources we're gonna be getting out of here and even though we have like a home I don't even know if it'll be our permanent home it's it's home of the Escobros for right now it's home for right now but <laughs> this cave turned out to be a dud, and I, I really do have to search for new land, which is unfortunate because I was really hoping that this cave would turn out to be really awesome. I was like, alright, this cave has to be awesome, but you know what? It wasn't. Man, I'm yawning quite a bit, so let's see. Oh, I need to make a boat. I need to go back into the into this place right here the home of the Escobros. I actually really do like that entrance archway it's kinda cool but let's make that boat for right now 
there we go guys we got a boat and we're going to go sailing so <laughs> oh man I really wasn't hoping it would be this episode that we did it but we have to go sailing and oh wow it looks like we are on the right hand side and it looks like someone's away over there so maybe there's an awesome cave system over there that I don't know about but this uh seed is primarily island so we're gonna go search over here we're also going to get a drink of water in the meantime and look look at that NPC village it is a awesome NPC village <coughs> in the middle of a desert <laughs> So hopefully we'll find another little island or something like that. Not far from this place like we have with the other ones. Because I'd really hate to give up the seed, but... <clears throat> you know, we've been really thorough. We've searched practically everywhere. And we're like, alright, let's find an awesome cave system. That's the only downfall I've found so far with the seed. There really is a lack of cave systems... And that's kind of disheartening to me because I was like, all right, there's a whole lot of awesome islands. So, I mean, come on, there's just got to be an awesome cave system somewhere, somewhere. But we haven't found it just yet, but looks like we found a mushroom biome. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a cave system there? Hello. Do you have a cave system? No, you don't. Okay. Well, oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that sight. Okay, if there is not a cave on this island, I don't know what I'm going to do. Seriously, this is this is just an epic location. Just an epic location. And there has to be a cave system somewhere. Over here, somewhere. I know it looks like there's one right there, but there's a... Okay, we have several... We have seen several prospects for a cave system, so... If there is no epic... Oh my goodness, yes there is. There's an epic cave system. Guys, we finally found <laughs> what we really wanted. We have finally found a cave system. And I'm not going to explore it just yet. And you might be like, why are you not doing that, Eskimo, after you've searched so long? And the reason why I'm not doing that is because I'm going to search around the island first. I want to get familiar with it so I know which way to leave and head back to my home because there's like a <sighs> yeah there's like four or five different islands on the seed and you know it's a pretty awesome seed it's called bronchitis sucks and you know I still have bronchitis but it looks like this is the cave system right here but before we go down in there I want to check out this little place up here see what's up in here it could be awesome could be horrible but could be awesome so we're going with the awesome part even though it really wasn't awesome it was just like a little tunnel and you know I actually really like tunnels a whole lot because they sometimes yield resources like right there we got some torches so there we go we got some more torches and they also lead to some pretty awesome places like right there. It led to some higher ground and overlooking of the sea. But, you know. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to jump over there and kill the chicken. So left-hand side, placing the torches. And it looks like we're actually at the edge of the... Nope, never mind. We're not at the edge of the world. Or we might be. I don't know. <gasps> Guys. <gasps> We found a, a mob sp -p spawner. We found a mob spawner. Oh my god, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kill him. Kill these mobs. Kill them all. One at a time. So come on, zombies. Don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. Okay, there we go. Alright, light this up, light this up, light this up. There we go. So, that makes it so no mobs can spawn. We found a zombie mob spawner. So this, it's it's about time seriously episode number 70 we finally found a awesome cave system and in this awesome cave system we found a zombie mob spawner and it's actually in a pretty ideal location I'm not gonna lie about that and the reason why I'm not placing some torches pretty much is everywhere so I can light this whole area up 
for future reference because I can make a mob spawner. So there we go, guys. We finally found a mob spawner. It's pretty, It's you know, it's not too far from where this island started. So that's good. That's always good. I wonder what my subscribers are doing. So let's check this out. Check the map out. No, no one's, oh, someone's come to the island I'm on. Two people are on the original island. One person's just in the middle of nowhere. I guess they found another island system. Because, you know, we've, we, there's still some of that undiscovered area we haven't been to. So, I suppose I will go out and greet whoever is on the island that I am on. So that's what we're going to do right now, guys. We're going to go out and greet this person because, you know, you guys, you're my subscribers. Without you, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So that's what we're doing. We're greeting him. So I'm KG. He actually gave me quite a bit of iron, so I appreciate him for that. I'm going to show him this awesome, this awesome little mob spawner if he comes this way. KG, come on. Uh, uh, I guess he's just checking out what's around here, but... I want to show him the mob spawner. But seriously, this is the start of a epic cave. It could be really awesome. So let's go this way, KG. Come on, come on. No. KG! This way, buddy. <laughs> seriously, though, this this is just a awesome, awesome cave system so far. Hopefully it doesn't, the other part over there and doesn't end up being a dud. But, I mean, yeah, we did find a mo zombie mob spawner. You know, if I have to, maybe I could spend like a hundred episodes just waiting for zombies to spawn and kill them. That'd be really boring, though. So let's go and check this out, my buddy. Come on. I want to show you this. I want to show you what I found. You know, this is like a little kid showing their parents something. Mommy, mommy, look what I found. I found my penis. Okay. <laughs> I guess he doesn't want to see it. I guess he just wants to grab the iron and smelt it. And that's actually the type of person that KG has been. He's actually helped me out with iron. He's given me a whole lot of iron, but I want to I want to show him this. Well, hopefully, eventually he'll come in. While I wait on him, I'm gonna get a drink of water really quickly. Ah, water! It is so good for the throat. And um. This is actually the third episode I've recorded straight in a row, so I'm starting to feel confident again that I can do Minecraft commentaries a whole lot more. So Minecraft is definitely going to be coming back to my channel and in a strong fashion. So hopefully you guys are excited about that like I am. Let's see. I need... Ooh, I really need some food. Ooh, that's not good. I need some food. Hmm. Actually, not really. I can make five pieces of bread if I have a crafting table, which I don't, but I do have some wooden planks so I can make a crafting table anyways. So last resort, I can make a uh, crafting table. But for right now, we're going to kill these zombies because, you know, this is pretty much zombie city. Zombie city inside this cave. And that's, you know, it's kind of a good thing. Kind of a good thing. Oh, no way. No way. An abandoned mine shaft. An abandoned mine shaft. And a zombie mob spawner. Okay, guys. I'm going to call it an episode. I'm going to call it an episode. And next episode, we're going to explore that abandoned mine shaft. And you might be like, No, Eskimo, don't do it. Don't do it now. We just want to see. We just want to see the abandoned mine shaft. And I know. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sort of teasing you guys. Hey, calm down. Look at your beautiful faces, you beautiful people. Okay, well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and all that wonderful stuff, because like I said, it really does help me out, guys. I'm not just saying that, because it helps more people see this series, so if you support it, be sure to do that, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're excited to go and see that abandoned mine shaft. But as always, guys, I've been Eskimo. I love you all, and I shall see you next time.